called I Blink to the Eyelid Station. I, I messed up, obviously. Everything was fine, sagging in my aging human body at the big baseball whatever, caught singing the national anthem on the d Jumbotron, blinking in Morse code just like we planned it. Incidentally, I told my supervisor like 50 years ago that we shouldn't use the human's codes to communicate, but he has a penchant for conspiracy theories, thinks they're hilarious, so he does what he can to stir up the anthill, so to speak. The jerk is probably watching the X-Files right now back on Homeworld, floating there in his comfy purple miasma on his big fat thorax while I freeze my life away on this Arctic... Antarctic? Arctic. Arctic rock. <laughs> what I meant to say via Morse code on the Jumbotron after 65 years of disguised study on this backwater berg of a planet and hoping that my nerd of a boss would appreciate the ironic flair of an alien interloper referencing an Earth 1956 science fiction movie was, take me off this island Earth. <laughs> but what do you want from me? My people don't even use letters, so I ended up saying something like, take me to the island station or some such. <coughs> Of which there is exactly one on this planet, and the only thing that live on it are walruses. So that's where the automated ship sent me, and that's what I am now. <laughs> one tour growing up as a devoutly Jewish male, and now, instead of being cycled back home for R&R, &R, a tour of duty as a walrus, eating shellfish all day. <laughs> At least I know what irony is. How long do walruses live, anyway? Hmm. How do we mate with these tusks? <laughs>